Hi riders and welcome to this uh, new video here up here on the world. Uh, today is an extreme hot day here in Italy, probably one of the worst days. I'm sweat like hell uh, and probably you can hear the noise of my fan right next to me. I don't have AC and uh, outside there are like 36, 37 degrees. Uh, so I'm kind of melting. Uh, if I'm gonna say something stupid uh, during the video, it's not me, it's just that I'm suffering a lot uh, the heat uh, and the uh, hot weather so I'm extremely tired but I'm gonna make this video just for you and today we are gonna talk about uh, Dango Design. What is Dango Design? It's a company that produces probably one of the smartest tools if you're doing uh, uh, video vlogging on your motorcycle uh, and uh, in general uh, something that you should have uh, if you are using, uh, like me, uh, GoPros uh, and other type of action cams. So what is this product uh, I'm talking about? Uh, well, is uh, this one right here. I'm gonna let you take a close look, 360 degrees. There we go. It's an uh, action cam holder that is specifically studied for your helmet. Uh, but you can use it in many other ways anyway. So let's take a look at the product itself. This is a review of 15,000 kilometers using this uh, uh, you know, action cam holder from Dango Design. I've been using it on my ride to Norway 2022 and on my um, adventure in Morocco in December 2022. I carried mostly my GoPro 9 Black, GoPro Hero 9 Black. Uh, and uh, we are also gonna take a closer look at some of the accessories that come with the holder. So if you are curious, stick to the video. It's gonna be a short one and a sweaty one, but I promise it's gonna be super interesting. But before we talk about the Dango mounting system, there we go, I want to show you how I was doing things before. And here, there is my next WRL helmet. This is the way I was doing things before. I was using this Telesin action cam holder. I'll be honest with you, it's not a, uh, you know, a bad choice, but it has some limits. The first one is that to not so much to detach it, which is gonna take probably a couple of seconds, but to fix it back on the helmet, you have these kind of laces here, and you need to use it to fix it on the chin of your helmet, which means this is gonna take a couple of minutes, because you need to find the right spot, like this, one, then you need to take the other one. You see, there is a kind of clip inside. There we go. Then you need to fix it to make sure it's not gonna hold the camera in a strange position. There we go. So now it's ready. So as you can see, it took me maybe. I don't know, a minute or something like this. Uh, and then uh, the other annoying part is that you needed to find uh, the right, uh, you know, holder or whatever, these type of little things here that we all know, especially if you are doing, uh, oh, come on, there we go. If you are doing a video recording with your camera, so this one, you know, there are lots of choices actually. Uh, this one right here. So, you know, I have many, 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 many of those. You know, you name it, I have it, uh, probably you too. So the difficult part then was to understand, okay, maybe I'm gonna use this one. Right, so there we go. But uh, the limit in this case is that if I want to record, uh, I will be able to record only horizontally, like this, right? That's what I was doing before, but then, reels come into place so which means vertical uh, videos were also becoming very cool and also are very nice memory if you are you know uh, watching the video again on your smartphone of course the smartphone is vertical so you know uh, checking a, a vertical uh, 
video can be also very nice then what happened i bought this little thing here for vertical recording what this does you are going to insert this here i'm gonna show you and here you are going to put your camera like this so at the end uh, this was the final result Now, the problem here is uh, if you want to swap between vertical and horizontal shooting, uh, with this one you need to stop uh, and you need to dismantle everything. So you need to remove uh, two of these uh, and then uh, you need it to remove once again this one and then you need it to put your camera back on vertical and then take one of these and fix the camera in horizontal mode so to do this it was taking five minutes like changing changing taking uh, removing uh, put it in your pocket and whatnot with of course the thing that these little things that were probably going to fall down maybe going to get lost somewhere on the road uh, it happened to me lots of times, that's why, as you can see, I have thousands of those. Look, <laughs> you can probably relate to that. In any case, so as you can see, it's not a bad solution, it's not comfortable either. Not at all. Again, especially if you want to swap vertical and horizontal. So, what I did, um, I brought Dango and they gave me um, a discount to purchase this one for me to try and uh, now we are gonna take a look uh, at this uh, mounting system and how easy it's gonna be to do everything that uh, with the teles in here was taking a lot of time so let's take a look first of all let's remove the teles in by the way these laces here were super annoying the one inside uh, inside the helmet you know you could feel it right in your mouth so let's go ahead and let's remove it there we go remove it is the easy part <laughs> and now let's take the GoPro and let's go ahead and let's test the Dango mounting system so why do I have a cloth peg right in front of me because it's actually very similar to what the Dango does so it's a kind of a cloth peg, okay, but instead of uh, hang cloth with this one, you kind of hang your camera on your helmet. Uh, so let's take a look at the adapter pack. So let's take a look at what's inside. And inside we have one 420 universal camera adapter, this one right here which is super super useful especially if you have uh, a insta360 this will fit uh, exactly the insta360 i will show you right now there we go so perfect as you can see in case of a gopro of course you have a 20 millimeter universal extension and a 35 millimeters so there is a smaller one and a longer one so now that we have taken a look at some of the adapter let's go ahead and let's take a look on how to fix the camera and the dango on your helmet so first of all you don't need to have the uh, chin uh, wind stopper here because as for the telecine uh, this one goes right on the chin so this one as simple as just a, a cloth peg you open it and you fix it here now you are gonna ask oh my god is super resistant or what because I'm gonna add uh, uh, my GoPro and I want to make sure my GoPro is not gonna <laughs> is not gonna fail right so well I can say uh, 15,000 kilometers never never had a problem with uh, Dango why well the material right here it's a kind of uh, plastic material as you can see it's also kind of bent bending bending 
uh, with kind of teeth, teeth all here. And then on the other side, there is plastic, but in this case is a hard plastic. Let me move away. It's a hard plastic and also here you can see some teeth kind of to create a grip, right? So there is grip all around and the plastic is very, very resistant. I really like this plastic. I feel very comfortable when mounting it on my, on my helmet. The structure is very, very resistant. And as I said, this part is kind of more flexible, right? so it can kind of adjust to the shape of the uh, of the helmet then you have uh, this kind of little cord right here uh, maybe you want to carry your gopro your camera you can do it with this uh, little uh, lace here and uh, here we have this spring which is super hard i mean uh, i think you can use it like if you want to get muscle on your uh, on your arm you can just uh, use it it's super hard trust me you need to try it uh, like you need to put a lot of effort and a lot of strength to open it uh, so it made this uh, you know very resistant over the time and then you have another spring right here and I'm gonna show you uh, in a couple of seconds what this spring uh, does so the uh, build quality is really, really excellent. 15,000 kilometers, uh, probably more, and never had an issue. Uh, and again, you can attach it on your, um, you know, on your chin, on your helmet. Maybe you can attach it on your jacket or maybe on, uh, you know, your backpack, uh, wherever you want, because it's super resistant. It's super resistant. So. I really, really feel comfortable on uh, using the Dango pretty much everywhere I can, you know, attach it. Say that, uh, let's go ahead and let's see how long it's gonna take to fix it on my helmet. That's it. Let's see how long it's gonna take to remove it. That's it. Do you remember here there was another spring right here? Let's see the magic. What do you do? You push and you turn there we go you need to push very hard now i'm not in a very comfortable position but it's awesome this resulted in me taking way more videos than i should and of course it's super easy compared to the telecine whatever thing right so we can forget about that and my final mounting gear for my motovlogging is the, the Dango mounting grip. Now, as I said, I use it for 15,000 kilometers and I um, have two things that I would love to see improved. Um, so, Dango, in case you're listening, uh, take, uh, take notes. So the first one is, uh, I'm not sure there was a second screw because the uh, only one that I think was included was this one, the short one. There we go. So the short one is uh, useful, uh, but in my case, for example here, if I'm gonna use the short one, the short one is gonna end up here. So not really the best position to screw and unscrew. You know, it's already difficult to do it with this one, which is a bit longer. Uh, this one is a bit too short as you can see right I mean uh, it's not it's not that easy to to fix you know and then to remove uh, look this is is not is not the great and the second uh, thing I would like to improve to see improve maybe in the second version of the product is this little piece right here so mm, all of the uh, mounting for the GoPro, they have it, as you can see also this one, this little top here. Uh, all of them, right? All of them. Like also this one. The problem with this one is that as I use it a lot of times to remove and take out the camera, what's happened? Here, this piece once fell down and I lost it because it's not attached. Now I kind of push it super hard, but it's not attached to the piece of, you know, plastic right here, to the mounting system, but it's just uh, put there. Uh, and uh, I remember once I 
you know I insert the screw very hard because uh, you know I needed to do it fast or whatever and then this little piece just popped out and fell down and I never found it <laughs> so thankfully I had uh, with me some of these so I was able to you know I was able to take one of those and put it back here and really push it very hard but again uh, I would like not this to um, happen because I was lucky but in case you don't have a spare one of these then you're screwed not this screw like you are completely screwed uh, because of course you will not be able to secure your camera so it's awesome I love the Dango product I love the uh, you know mounting system only thing probably just improve this little thing here okay I don't want to take too long but I just wanted to share with you um, you know what I was doing before and what I'm doing now for my photo vlogging and my Instagram reels etc etc I find it very very useful and of course I hope you're gonna find it useful too if you're gonna buy it I'm satisfied with the product uh, and uh, I recommend it to all of you I would say that's it I'm gonna go back to sweat a bit more probably I'm gonna take a shower because it's super hot and I thank you as always for watching this Peer Around the World video and of course subscribe if you liked it, if you don't like it, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me know in the comment what do you think uh, about this Dango and of course see you on the next adventure. Ciao!